G'day everyone, it's Lysithia, and I'm here to help people get started solving the Pi Network clues. Now, the Pi Recruit Kit and the Audio Descrambler NetBeans JavaFX project are available at pytheory.com. The Audio Descrambler is actually pretty straightforward to get working. The first thing you need to do is open the README file, and in the rest of this tutorial I'll show you how to finish the Audio Descrambler in about five minutes. At the bottom of the tutorial file is a tutorial at sun.com which teaches you all about mouse handlers which are the part that needs to be added to this program because otherwise when you run it, it will run but nothing will happen when you click anywhere. Now the readme file explains that you need to be editing descrambleaudiotrack.fx so you open that up in NetBeans and then you scroll to the relevant part of the readme file and it says you need to search for the comment that says add offset bar mouse handlers here. Now it also tells you that you need an on mouse pressed function and that needs to call a function called begin offset bar dragging and that takes an argument from the mouse event called x. Likewise you need a second mouse event for when the mouse is dragged. So on mouse dragged and you need a function with a mouse event and that calls event.sceneX. Now the next step is around line 742 and you need to search for the comment that says add selection mouse handlers here and then you need to add a couple more mouse events. Now it tells you that you need an on mouse pressed and that needs to call the function initialize selection and that takes event.x. You also need a mouse handler for on mouse dragged now that calls the function select2x and that also takes event.x. The third part that you need to edit is at add line mouse handlers here, volume line mouse handlers here. Now there are three functions, three mouse events that you need. On mouse pressed, which calls the helper function begin volume dragging at. On mouse dragged, which calls drag volume to and on mouse released, which calls end volume dragging. Now, if you search for these functions in Discramble Audio Track, you will see that begin volume dragging takes event.sceneX, and drag volume 2 takes event.sceneY, and event volume dragging doesn't require an argument. And that's it. We're done. We're ready to run the project. As soon as NetBeans catches up, it runs just a trifle slowly on the Mac. And we can see the audio descrambler in action. So hopefully this tutorial has been easy enough for you to follow along. Now we're just waiting for it to compile and run. And there you have it, the audio descrambler. 
Signing off from the great southern land, I'm Lysithia and I'm a Pi Network member. Thanks for watching.